Okay, family, we're at it one more time trying to decipher whether Kenya Moore is lying or not. And it's up to us as a family to get in them comments and say, is she lying? Yes. She's not lying? No. Or you're undecided. You want to straddle the fence. You just can't tell. And that's uh, not sure. Okay, so get in them comments. Let me know what y'all think about Kenya Moore saying she wants to give Mark Daly another chance because he wants another chance. Now, is Kenya Moore lying or is she telling the truth? That's what I want my family to decide with me as we go on and dive in and, and talk about this uh, commentary that was done by, um, it says, Jasmine Denise. And she's a correspondent or journalist over there at Madame Nior, uh, Madame Nior Magazine dot com or Madame Nior dot com. All right. We want to get on into this story because we don't want to tear it too long. All right. And I want to say hi to my family. I didn't quite introduce myself and say Deb Schnell's 40th World featuring the family affair. But I've got to say hey and salute all of you all who came in to uh, sit down a spell and, and see what I got to be talking about. Or see what I'm talking about over here at the family affair house. And see what we can uh, discuss. And be on one on the court with or just agree to disagree. All right. But anyway, y'all got the title of the article. It says Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are trying to save their marriage. Now, not one time now did I hear Mark Daly come out. Now, he publicly made a statement out in social media that he wanted to separate from Kenya Moore. Now, that did come from him and his camp. Okay. But I ain't here. I hadn't heard a pen drop to solidify that he wants to get back with Kenya Moore. Still ain't heard it. She talking for him, I guess, or she's talking just to hear herself talking. Because Mark ain't said not damn time he wanted to get back with Kenya. He been ignoring the hell out of Kenya. <coughs> He's in New York without Kenya. So, I don't know if this is a one-sided type fantasy Kenya got going on in her mind or what could be happening. But anyway, let's get on into that story. It says, Kenya Moore and Mark Daly are trying to give their marriage another shot after announcing plans to divorce. On Sunday night's episode, Moore invited Cynthia Bailey to her home as she proceeded to pack her exchange estranged husband's belongings up but shortly after daily told her that he didn't want to break up now when did he make this realization because i'm like there in that picture i'm confused when did he call and tell you this because prior to filming you had cynthia over there and y'all were talking about it saying he called you had him blocked uh so how did he get in touch with you um to say he wanted to you know keep things he want to make things better with you in other words he wants to not give up the, on the marriage so can you your lives again are not adding up that's just my side barber going back to the article said i did start to box him up and then in his true fashion he came back and was like i don't want to break up i want to work on our marriage more revealed during an appearance on watch what happens live now, of course, and then I'm going to play it for you before the uh, narration is through. He pretty much asked Kenya how things are going. Because we are pretty much one episode from airing the Real Housewives of Atlanta's reunion. And she's making up all this, I want to say, fictitious story. But, you know, giving her the benefit of doubt. Giving her the benefit of doubt, I should say. We trying to keep hope alive to see if she will float or will she sink. Okay, like a boulder wrapped around her ankle and just dragging her home down into the abyss. Okay, um, but that was just my pun intended. Going back to the article, it says um, the former pageant queen shared that she is also interested in making amends with her estranged husband, but only on certain terms. Now, from my understanding, she told Candy and Ma, I mean Candy and Cynthia that her ex-husband was cheating. He was cheating with a woman that wasn't, didn't want to get him up. And she was trying to allude to he was very abusive. 
as well as trying to put hands on her, as well as verbally abusive. As a lot of things she done threw Mark out there under the bus, under the concrete. He don't, she done buried him 12 feet under. And then she trying to shake him off and saying she want to get this type of man that she's been degraded since they came out. Both of them saying that they were going to separate, possibly divorce from one another. She wants to give him another chance after all the demeaning and dehumanizing she has done. She wants to give Mark David a second chance. Okay, that was just my pun intended. Going back to the article, it says, yeah. If he's going to be a changed person, yes. If he's going to be the Mark that you've seen, no, she explained. While Mark, while Moore seems to be open to moving forward with the reconciliation, the reality star is doing so cautiously. She ain't doing it cautiously enough for me. And if I was Mark, I would run the hell away from her. All right? Because, again, like I said, he came on that one time saying he wanted to reconcile with Kenya. He didn't come out one time saying he still loved Kenya. He wants to stay married to Kenya. Anything is in those terms. He has not yet to this day come out and expressed his feelings. Okay. Going back to the article. It says he wants to work on the marriage. He wants to be a better person. Said Kenya. I think when you're married you have to try everything to stay together. And if you exhaust everything you will have your answer. I'm like. Kenya, Kenya, Kenya. You're talking with somebody that's in a real marriage. You're in a fictitious, fictitious marriage. So, baby girl, I don't know what you're trying to stay for. Anyway, you wrote the script, so I guess you have to play it out. Going back to the article, it says, In September, Kenya announced a couple separation just one day after the restaurant Ronateer had an explosive meltdown at his charity event. And they go on and pretty much explain to you or regurgitate the both uh public statements they made to social media on their own behalf about their marriage okay so we ain't even gonna drudge up that stuff but then we're gonna go straight to uh the news came as a shock to many however once the couple made their debut during the current season of the real housewives of atlanta the highly visible fractures that existed within their marriage were difficult for fans to ignore Hopefully, these two are able to have a meaningful reconciliation and keep their family together. Now, we're going to go in and play uh, something that Andy Cohen had pretty much asked Kenya about when it was on Watch What Happens Live. He did a little show with them. Oh, he did his little taping at home of Watch What Happens Live. It's time to ISO lay it on us. Kenya, John R. emailed and wants to know, what are the receipts you claim to have proving how fake Portia and Nini's reconciliation in Greece was? Well, you'll see at the reunion. I definitely have receipts, and I think that this is going to be a reunion of exposure. That's what I'm calling it, because so many things have been covered up over the years, and I am going to open that can of worms in that receipt box and I'm going to show everything. So by the time that we're done, you will see who the fakes are and who the phonies are and who the real people are. That part. Okay. Uh, Eva, Alex B wants to know if you've spoken to Nini offline since she said you don't carry your weight on the show and you called her ratchet on Instagram. Well, she is ratchet and um, according to <laughs> airtime, I carried a lot more weight than she did this season. But, uh, more importantly, why is she so mad? I thought like she was on the road to spirituality and was trying to recover with everyone and be friends. And for some reason, she has literally picked a fight with everyone except for her new everyone. best friend. Everyone. Missed her so much. And Daniel. she was just fighting on the phone with Candy via text message, email. We have a group chat. She was fighting whenever we do conference calls. She's calling people bitches and cursing them out like, She's not who she tries to be on camera or off, trust. She feels very strongly, Kenya, that Cynthia lets you get away with things that she would never let slide with Nene. How do you feel about that? Well, I've never come for Cynthia's throat or her job or her family telling secrets and everything else, so she's probably right. By the way, Kenya, Nene says she did not spit on you. Do you feel that she spit on you? 
I mean, why are we even arguing whether or not she actually did, in fact, spit on me? The fact is that she was throwing things at me. She was calling me all kind of names. And clearly, she lunged at me. And she hawked up spit as though she was about to spit on me. Isn't that enough? Like, who does that? Trash. Die do. It would have been enough to quote, you know, it's Passover, so I have to, you know, add a little uh, Hebraic. Eva, Rick, Ricky H wants to know, what was your reaction to Marlo calling you a diva with the producers of the show? Calling, uh, I mean, I'm Eva the diva. <laughs> okay, that wasn't the one that I wanted to play. Let me see if this okay, one is you're it. You're never one to walk on eggshells, so we have a special guest hopping on okay. with asking the questions about your past behavior. <laughs> Eva, if you agree with Kenya's response, take a bite of one of your cookies. Okay. It's time to play Do You Regret It? Shady Easter Bunny Edition. <laughs> All right, here comes the Shady Easter Bunny. Hi, Shady Easter Bunny. Why, hello, Andy. There he is. And Okay, that's not what we wanted. Where is the one? Let me see. That wasn't the one. Okay, I think this is the one. So it's up to you all to decide what y'all feel about this situation. Do you think Kenya Moore was actually lying? Because I tell you, first she said Mark was, uh, they weren't working. They haven't spoken. She had blocked them. And now with the COVID-19 uh, situation, she's saying, no, they're not uh, together because of that. He's trying to save his restaurant and this, that, and the third, and then she goes on to say, um, what did she say that was confusing? Oh, that she, um, 
wanted to box up his clothes but then at his true fashion he came and said that he wanted to work on their marriage again how can you get a hold of him well he get a hold of you when you got a got his number blocked it's just not adding up can you it's just really it's not adding one and one is not equaling two I don't know what is equaling, equaling out in your mind. But anyway, family, y'all tell me what y'all think about it. Is Kenya still full of shit? Is she full of shit? Okay. And she's just trying to make it more drawn out than where it needs to really be. Okay. Because she definitely can't produce, produce any receipts on a wedding marriage or a certificate of that kind of Ooh, child i can just go on and on and on and then one thing i didn't like about it uh i mean if you go and watch watch what happens live in his interview with both kenya and eva uh you will see that she never really would look at the um i wouldn't say teleprompter but she wouldn't look at her computer screen where she was given eye contact face to face when Andy was asking her the questions about Mark and this that and the third she always would veer off to the right or the left her eyes wouldn't stay focused uh, on his questions you know and that to me that's like a, a body language sign that she's lying you know because if you're trying to you know express yourself and you're trying to get your point across whoever's answering the interviewer that's answering you the questions you would just make that eye contact back with them and then you might veer off after you've answered your question uh in its entirety to the left or to the right but the whole time her eyes was going to the right to the left up and down you know it's just one focus so that's when i knew she was lying okay because body language just don't tell lies okay you might can tell lies at your mouth but your body language and your demeanor and your behavior is going to tell it all but anyway fam that's all i got for this particular video i'll catch y'all on another video later on of course uh and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and share and like the videos but i hope you guys are doing well and we'll talk again okay next video see you later